Yes, sir. We, we are live. We can start. Okay. Kiran, uh, yeah. thank you very much, uh, Kiran, for joining the group. Uh, it's a gr very good uh, uh, gesture on your part to accepting the uh, uh, our workshop. As you know, today happens to be the first death anniversary of uh, Dr. Uh, uh, C.G. C. E. G. Jesto, who passed away last year. And uh, to commemorate the, his uh, first death anniversary, we are conducting this uh, workshop. It's a very uh, it's a very ominous sign that uh, around over 550 participants have joined the uh, have registered and uh, are globally uh, there is around 10 U.S. Uh, people who have registered and from Australia and uh, Canada, few of them have joined. Uh, it's they are on live uh, and uh, Dr. Kiran Kumar, uh, it's very nice of you you being the alumnus of the. Dhanan Sir College of Engineering, and also you went on to do his uh, MTech in uh, UVC under Professor Justo himself. You have uh, worked, uh, and uh, as you know that you have been a brilliant student in your uh, MTech career as well as in undergraduate program, and uh, you have done your PhD under uh, Professor uh, Jagdish of BMS in Engineering College because of his brilliance and. Uh, uh, great uh, skills. He was able to join to the government service. Now he is professor in Government Engineering College, SKS JIT. Thank you very much, Kumar, Kiran Kumar sir, for uh, coming over to the uh, workshop. And now you can start your presentation, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your uh, humble words. And I also happen to be a student. I always uh, remember that. And uh, it's uh, because of you, Gurus, I am here today. Uh, I'll just uh, open my presentation. Is it visible, sir? Yeah, it's visible. Go ahead, sir. In case if it is not visible or audible, please prompt me. I will return it. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. sir, you can go for full screen view. <laughs> sir, full screen. Sir, go for. Sir, go for full screen. Is it? Is it? Yes, yes. Uh, that's fine, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to uh, today. It's be as Professor has said. It's a great honor to be present at this webinar to on uh, and present uh, whatever the experiences that I have gained through. Um, these uh, great gurus, including uh, Professor Jeshto, Dr. Veer Raghavan, my guru Pr Prakash sir. And uh, I'll be presenting uh, my topic on recycled asphaltic pavement, uh, a new approach using waste plastic. I know it is very difficult uh, uh, thing now to convince people or the people who have already listened to the first session, uh, uh, Professor and Dr. Ram Chandra sir, who is also known to me has made my job very tough because he has given all the parameters which are uh, showing and promising that the concrete payments are the future. Uh, and he has also made a note, uh, even I, I stand with him, that it's not that the concrete payment or the bituminous payment fight here. It is the uh, need of the day and the requirement of the project site, which clearly indicates what needs to be done for that particular project site. And uh, in that direction, I will try my level best to the, pre uh, the present this particular topic of recycled asphaltic payment, new approach using waste plastic, and convince my uh, participants who are in this webinar that even bituminous payments has gone ahead. What we were doing the earlier thing, and now what we are doing is entirely a different thing. At the last, uh, Dr. Ram Chandra sir showed a slide. It was very impressive. He told that bituminous payments have to take a U-turn and join the concrete road. Definitely, sir, we are with you in the composite payments. But I have tried an another alternate bypass route through this recycled asphaltic payment, which is going to definitely overtake the entire technology or the scenario of people who are working in this particular payment industry too. Uh, look at towards the bituminous roads again. 
otherwise it becomes very very difficult to handle the kind of waste that we are producing as well as the petroleum byproduct that is coming out in form of asphalt because cement has got a non trade purpose it can be used in building construction and other purpose but uh, bituminous material has got a very limited industrial application it has to be in the roads so whatever we are producing we need to consume and uh, it has got its advantages and disadvantages as he has already mentioned it without making uh, wasting much of time i would like to get into my presentation i put this slide because many of the parameters which comes in this presentation may have something to the uh, audience who are present here and there may be a coincidence and they may also come in one or two slides during the photograph and various other things all the copyright issues and various other things i have uh, tried to claim under this uh, disclaimer and the presenter and author in this case who is myself would uh, like to uh, kindly uh, apologize in case if it has been a kind of a uh, problem to the audience and uh, by showing that particular picture or anything it's only a mere coincidence and for the purpose of learning nothing much uh, he personal in it thank you now my presentation content would run something like this uh, it is introduction material evaluation and selection need for the change change suggested and the ultimate uh, last is the conclusion where discussion after conclusion we can have a question and answer session whatever the doubts has come i request all the uh, participants to send a chat to the organization organizers wherein the questions what you felt in during the course of presentation can be noted down and they can discuss at the end so i i will start my presentation with this small note now if you look into the most uh, important or the most revolutionized parameter that we have seen in uh, very recent is the india has witnessed is to have this swachh bharat abhiyan where we are talking about making the india clean and beautiful uh, place for every human being to stay and in a wonderful uh, program in which the entire nation has participated and whatever in a small way that we can do through our knowledge dissemination and as well as collection of this particular knowledge related to the road construction using the waste which is generated by us which is going to be littered on the street if it is not taken care or causing lot of damage to the environment already we have caused lot of damage to the environment i in two ways one is by consuming the aggregates in the name of development by breaking down the big hills mountains crushing the parent rocks changing the course of winds changing the rain pattern which is suffering uh, most of the places polluting it making it dust by introducing the crushers uh, and with the greed and more and more production we are completely consuming the natural resources that is given to us it is a gift and we need to protect it second thing is the waste that is generated by us in form of plastic which also in day to day life is essential but the same way it also needs to be reused recycled and we need to bring it back into the uh, our life and by just banning mere carry bags and a few quantum of plastic will not solve the problem the ocean is already fed with plastic and uh, even the fish which is consuming this plastic is also dying or that is been consumed by the human and the cycle of consumption of plastic has already started so now we may have two challenges one is the consumption of natural resources in form of aggregates by breaking the large mountains and taking away the rain rain and as well as causing a disaster to our agriculture sector by not having the water in form of famine or uh, rains being getting away due to the wind pattern changing secondly this plastic is causing a mess it's a big question with that as a pavement engineer i have also got a responsibility who has worked for more than 15 years in the bituminous industry to give an alternate solution to this particular issues of emerging carbon footprints 
emerging emissions, various other issues related to environmental uh, hazardous things. So I have taken these two parameters, tried to blend, looked into the lead certification, get the solution out of it. What exactly we are doing today is recycling of the existing payments, which are already being constructed and as far as possible to use 100% of this particular material, which is already been tested, certified, used, and it is being in service. So there is one particular positive thing that we can always think about of reusing this is all its parameters, such as its toughness, its compressive strength, or it may be its shape factor, various other issues are already been certified and then it has been used for road. Now, during the developmental activity, so-called developmental activity, addition of new lanes or bringing up additional capacity of the existing payment augmentation, creating a bypass, creating a flyover, we are trying to completely bury the old aggregate structure which was carefully chosen and produced and in the name of development we are burying that and getting the new material placed on it so the best way to do is we need to recycle this that is a very simple thing to say but is it possible to do the recycling 100 percent it's a very big challenge in the course of presentation we will accept that challenge and we will try to show you the solutions that we have obtained over a period of uh, 10 to 15 years in research now if you see the basic idea is to have a considerable saving of the material and money and energy which is the uh, which is now called as a circular economy which is basically so rotating this particular uh, material within the its life cycle and trying to save the consumption of the new material now it is called as uh, the black gold where, and sustaining savings over the use of new material, conservation of natural resources, these are the advantages. The most important advantage that you can say is you can maintain the payment geometrics. Means by addition overlay of laying the new material, we have to constantly raise the curb levels, raise the drainage paths. Again, it is an additional feature that is coming when we are trying to correct the profile of the road by adding a new layer or when you are addressing a damage or a distress onto the payment, like the previous speaker has shown several distresses, it may be in a cement road, that is concrete road, or even in the flexible payment road. So while taking all these parameters together, we are to suggest a solution, which is giving a maximum saving in terms of economy, as well as in terms of energy, leading us to get the more environmental sustainable solution so now in that direction if you look into few statistics previous speaker has given a vast and a very good and an elaborate uh, statistics i have also mentioned the source below where we have taken these statistics if you calculate the total production of uh, the heat generation that is in terms of british thermal units it's about five lakh to produce one ton of new asphalt material that is to be produced. Now the same new asphalt which has been laid and over its service period after its service if you recycle it, it's about 2000 British thermal units is what is required. So we are saving about 3000 British thermal units of uh, heat production or carbon production by recycling the material of one ton of asphalt material. Now if you look into Today's scenario, when a four lane road or a national highway road is upgraded to six lane and due to this construction of underpasses, flyovers, nearly about 30 kilometers of bituminous pavement material is lost. This is actually the studies which are being undertaken under the NHI by Prithvi Skandal and he has published this particular uh, thing in uh, NBM CW journal that is new building materials and construction world journal where it clearly shows the statistics shows that this amounts to about 7000 tons of material which costs on that particular day of about rupees 22 crore and which keeps on changing as the 
prices of the bitumen material changes with the change in the oil prices or the basic crude prices so this is always on the positive side or an increased size rather than going on to the decrease side which is Uh, been witnessed by the rise in the fuel prices that we are looking at now we have got a certain advantage at this point of juncture it would be not correct if i don't defend the bituminous payment or flexible payment there are advantages of the bituminous payment also likewise what the concrete payments has the bituminous payments gives you a very ease to work during the construction and during the repairs and maintenance small patch works which can be done for the underground uh, uh, service lines it can be done and it can be read and uh, the time for closure of traffic or diversion of traffic is very less compared to the concrete roads even that closure causes an additional burden on to the pavement as well as on to the uh, the various uh, other system or the adjacent roads which are also overburdened by this diversion of traffic that is also an environmental impact which we need to add during the construction stage of the uh, this thing concrete roads now whereas the bituminous roads where the material is produced at site and brought down to the uh, uh, project site and then it is to be laid during that portion the emission of carbon levels are high but after that it is definitely going to be lower compared to the concrete roads and during the construction there is a reduction in the diversion of the traffic which takes place due to the closure of roads for 3 or 4 days of this particular concrete and the waiting period especially in urban stretches when these roads are closed for white topping the waiting period goes high and the vehicle operation cost and as well as consumption of the fuel is always there and repairing this bituminous material is much easier and now we have also got certain additives which will also work at a lower temperature like warm mix asphalt even you can do cold mix asphalt which can be done with with a temperature lower than 16 degree without heating so the, and giving the same strength as what it gives with a hot mix asphalt so there are solutions in case of bituminous pavement as well as concrete pavement so one of the solutions that we are now trying to do is trying to recycle the existing pavement which is already been constructed and by that way by saving a considerable amount of new material or the virgin material that needs to be done is it a new technology no it's not a new technology it was already been practiced in the developed world world where a nearly about 40 to 50% of the recycled materials are used by various uh, countries america australia many of the places south africa they do this recycling now india is also not left in that particular uh, line we have also joined in that particular line but we have come with certain changes in the existing practice and that is what i am trying to advocate today through this webinar what is that new approach that we are going to do in case of recycling asphaltic pavement we are not just talking about this in the air with laboratory studies we have already started this in practice and even with this has fetched lot of credits to the major funding agencies such as adbs world bank who are also looking in this direction as an environmental a uh, sustainable solution and funding the projects to many states now if you look into the problem now the problem here is the production extraction fabrication or usage of that and the end of the life that is coming is causing a lot of difficulty in both the cases of the asphalt production and the by product which is also a petroleum product which is waste plastic when this is to be taken into account and when the material has to completely do a cycle then we have this four quadrants in that four quadrant first is the life cycle or the production quadrant second is the uh, the fabrication quadrant the third one is the uh, usage quadrant after its usage disposal or this is the major issue that we are looking at or we are facing in today's urbanized section most of the urbanized section we are facing this problem so we have two issues here one issue that is to recycle the existing asphaltic material under wrap recycled asphaltic pavements while recycling it is there an option we need to explore is there an option to use waste plastic as an additive in terms of 
reducing the asphalt content that is being used for the recycled payments. So these two objectives are going to be addressed in the future slides. Now, some insight or some statistics about these particular products has to be understood before getting into the real problem. So if you look into the total production of MSW, sources SIPS report, since SIPS is Center for Innovation uh, Process and Studies that is there in the uh, Hyderabad, Telangana uh, region, which studies on an annual basis with the and it also works with the administrative reforms uh, institutes of uh, various states of uh, India where the IAS officers have been trained and they give this new innovative uh, process uh, solutions, progressive solutions that have been invented and which needs some kind of marketing to them. They do this particular study throughout India and they publish the reports. Now, once this particular report says, as per the production, it is around approximately, it varies during the festive season and non-festive season. The total municipal solid waste production in India is about 2 lakh metric tons per day. 2 lakh metric tons per day. Now in that, the plastic production is about 15,300 metric tons per day. So if you look into the plastic production out of the MSW, 2 lakh metric tons per day, the total plastic that is being put as a waste is about 15,300 metric ton per day. Under that 15,300, which is around 8% of your total municipal solid waste, MSW, municipal solid waste, 8% is 15,300. It is, if you further look into this 15,300 has got a very good recycling market for the pet industry that is uh, pet bottles, that is the water bottles and various other bottles which comes tetra pack and their cap and their collar, everything has got a price value. The price value is somewhere it varies from 28 rupees to 32 rupees per kilo for the cap and 20 for 26 to 27 rupees to 30 rupees per bottle of this pet which has been purchased by the recyclers who are been who have established a very good collection system. Even you have a lot of websites where we can mention this, kabadiwala.com and various other places. Now, this is where the gold comes, the, uh, the recycling thing, where they are making money is this. It goes to the Reliance Industries. Many products, including our fabrics, which is produced, is based on this pet, pet fibers, which are drawn into thin wires or thin threads. And it is used in textile industries, waterproofing agents. Uh, many products are coming out. Now, out of 15,300 metric ton, 9,300 has got an end-to-end -end recycle and reuse chart and a very systematic uh, approach present, uh, business solutions present. Now, the remaining is 6,000 metric ton, the small blue dot out of the big picture of black dot. 15,300 is the sky, cyan blue thing in which 9,300, which is green color, is already been recycled. The left out part per day is about 6,000 metric tons per day. Now, this also goes some in many of the cases. If you look into the production of the cement, this entire thing goes into the cement clean. And again, it comes back to our carbon production itself. As you consume more and more cement, the production from the clean of the cement, where it is being taken to higher temperature, the production gives the carbon footprint again. That also needs to be taken. Cement production and the consumption of non-trade section, if it increases, then the prices of the cement also goes. It is not same. Even Manmohan Singh's uh, thing, we need to present to Mr. R.K. Lakshman Sayar, saying that even cement consumption industry, when it goes on more and more, the environment hazard is more, our limestone deposition is not consistent. We need a lot of stabilizers. Again, production, making it uniform, cost comes as a picture. And the pro environmental thing is also a problem. Similarly, here what we are looking is a sustainable solution by reusing this particular payment which has already been constructed by also taking into another problem of the society which is the waste plastic that is being to be used into the road construction to give a permanent and a sustainable solution which produces a very good moisture resistant material. When the plastic goes into the aggregate or bituminous mix, it gives out into a moisture resistant mix. 
so this 6000 metric ton per day is what we need to address and create a value chain for the same if we create that value chain for this particular 6000 metric per ton per day definitely it is going to be a miracle and wonder that we are going to see and you don't find any plastic paper being thrown onto it now just by banning bangalore or karnataka banned the usage of carry bags but what are they going to do for the address the package material which is coming in terms of the wheat flour that you are getting through itc the every packing of salt every packing of the material which is there in big markets and malls which the people are buying that plastic where it is going it has to again come down to the garbage only and now this plastic when it enters to the garbage we are also not getting the compost which is to be the green part or the uh, wet part of our uh, household garbage which needs to be converted into a uh, kind of a manure it is not being done because of the presence of the plastic leaching effect is coming landfills are uh, becoming more and more and we are not finding suitable lands our groundwater table is getting depleted if you look into all these parameters of environmental consideration and bringing out the carbon footprints and re recycling solution of this and then giving the credits to this i think this is the most sustainable solution that we can have in today's scenario now if you look into this three percent out of that two lakh metric ton per day now there is no value for these new uh, recyclers and that is why they don't want and it is ending up in the street and gutters and drains and vacant places power karmikas are the people who are working who are uh, the people who are soft, uh, who are handling this particular solid waste management those people do not find any incentive to grab this particular uh, waste plastic or the plastic covers that is why this is coming out and has been the most neglected thing so no household incentives if the household people are given some incentives like big collectors or aggregators of a housing complex if they have if they if we tell them that we'll pay some amount for you you please collect the, uh, all this plastic dry waste and stack it and give us in a weekly basis or two days in a week we pay that amount we pay about six rupees eight rupees per kilo then definitely this plastic will not end up in the street or river or it will not end up in the uh, ocean same way if we give a solution to our recycled asphaltic payments using less bitumen and less uh, uh, thermal units are coming out or carbon footprints are coming out by recycling this definitely people would accept that and they would take into the consideration so with this intention we try to create a value chain for this particular two problems which is the most alarming situation and not to say that the concrete payments are good, bitumen payments are good. Both have got their own merits and demerits. We are trying to give an alternative solution, which is going to give more emphasis on to the environmental consideration without compromising the performance of the payment. See the kind, these are the man-made mountains which are choking our landfills during summers. It is because of this leaching effect and the methane gas which is stored uh, into this particular solid waste catches fire and it is entirely burning and causing choking uh, choking the environment causing lot of uh, breathing problem and uh, health issues near to the nearing to people or residing people who are staying close into the close vicinity or to the plum where this particular smoke comes into so we need to have this particular parameter to be controlled so how do we manage this 3% and reuse the payment materials which has already been in service and uh, create a value chain for this? So the what, what we can expect? First thing and foremost thing is the jobs for the underprivileged sectors. People in a developing country where the recyclers and the people who are working in this lower uh, sectors of industries who do not have proper education and who do not have proper skills we can be trained with a limited thing and give them a job opportunity. Second thing is our composites, that is green uh, waste that is being produced in each household and each product, uh, living uh, complex as a society can be completely converted into compost if we remove or segregate the dry waste getting it mixed with it. Then the third one is you can have a, a durable roads for a long lasting which is promisingly shown the plastic roads i don't have to say it is already been proved 
and uh, the reports are available with the ministry nhai and the ministry itself is advocating to use waste plastic in road construction and they have taken a circular stating that uh, population of 5 uh, lakh and above in an urban area have to obtain a certification if a contractor has to construct a road it may be a state funded road or a national funded road or central funded road or a world bank funded road they have to take a certificate that there are no plastic available for the road construction then only the alternate solutions will be given this is written by the ministry directly to the chief secretaries of every state and ask every pwds every road construction agency to follow adhere to this particular circular and they are doing it bangalore city corporation is doing it whenever they are constructing the road they are going for this particular waste plastic road now what we are saying with that we are saying that you recycle the road material which is available during the development map those thing keep those key information or all, uh, tell us we will recycle it for you with our new approach add this plastic and sell you this particular bituminous mix and give us the price what you are giving to the normal bituminous mixes so this is what we are planning under the uh, tag ship of swachh bharat abhiyan and selling the idea under swachh bharat abhiyan now i would like to give a small break here yes i think uh, you have seen that video that video uh, welcome back so the, to the all the participants that video was depicting that in our life at this situation where we are trying to adapt ourselves with the change in the environmental conditions change in the way the conferences are taking place through the webinars we need to also look into the other practices also when we need to bring change in every aspect so recycling is the most important parameter thing for us to uh, conserve our natural resources and reuse and rethink about using the same material how many times we can have it so that we can have or pass on this particular uh, word or art to, to our future generation now if you look into the types of plastic again there are so many plastics depending upon the manufacturers different plastics are available all plastics cannot simply get into road construction we need to have some knowledge about that particular plastic or what particular plastic gets into the road construction because many of them have a very low uh, melting point and uh, uh, softening point and some have high uh, toxic materials present in them which is very much hazardous to the environment now in this case again i would like to recollect that to get the calorific value for your cement clean all these materials including the waste plastics toothpastes the powders which are exp expired powders watering detergent powders from the manufacturers are simply shoved into this particular clean to bring the high cal calorific value to have the cement production now where are those toxic uh, gases going on so all these things we need to look into and produce various products not only recycling as per the payments we have an array of pro products which are going to which i am going to portray now in that we will be concentrating only on recycling as per the payments using the waste plastic there is a number of products which are produced using these plastics which are considered to be waste and thrown out into the environment now we have thermosets elastomers thermoplastics we need to understand their melting points what type of toxic gases are released at what temperature we need to have some knowledge about this when we are handling this kind of material and that is why i have added this two slides for you to understand different types of plastics that are coming if you look into the multi layer plastics then you have more of a polystyrene which is having a high content of uh, c6 h6 available with them so that is also going to cause lot of toxic gas releases into this particular environment now if you look into the products
depending segregation it is an art of segregating these plastics and which uh, with our college uh, help that is government uh, sksjt with uh, kk waste plastic management has come forward with us and they have a mou with us and they have done uh, they have taken the technical advice of our college uh, that is our uh, fraternity who are working on this particular uh, area for managing the and recycling the payments as well as waste plastics and we have developed a n number of products under that we have uh, the kk poly blend which is being used directly as an additive and you can check irc irc sk 98 2013 there is a codal provision to use the waste plastic in road construction i will repeat the code irc sp 98 2013 gives you how to use this waste plastic into the bituminous construction then you have your scarified material recycling for roads again under our uh, uh, technical advice we are producing the curb stones which are going to be very eco friendly than the concrete material our curb stones is again a by product you can say it is a hybrid it uses uh, plastic it uses concrete and whenever there is any kind of uh, uh, an accident or a kind of a uh, contact of the uh, vehicle to the curb stone the damage to the property is very less the damage to the property is very less i like i i request the participants to kindly mute the mic it echoes back thank you now uh, the the second product that you are looking into is a rigid pavement again we are working with the plastic cell with the rigid pavement which is called self fill concrete i don't want to get into that a detailed uh, discussion will be given by tomorrow's presenter Uh, dr prakash kumar who has worked in our institute we was awarded his phd by us uh, by me under my guidance he has worked on this rigid pavement he will be explaining it to you how this rigid pavement concept of this self fill concrete works the th then we have the recycled aspartic pavement again under our uh, banner we have done the, we have used this plastics which are not usable in roads into construction of green wood we have produced door frames doors shoba in shoba builders are using this prestige is using this even my house which i have constructed i have used the same technology and used the uh, doors windows frames and as well as uh, the doors for our uh, uh, wet sections where we have our uh, bathrooms and where we have uh, water contact we have used the same doors being used nikki is using this particular technology and they are producing the doors many such agencies have come forward to manufacture this we have also used pipes and sheets from this plastic granulars which we get as a by product from the waste now coming down to the recycled aspartic pavement if you look into the entire scenario this technology is always there and it has been in practice and the milling is one particular uh, issue that comes when we talk about this recycled aspartic pavement and milling without damaging the receiving layer say for example if you look into the flexible pavement you have different layers of flexible pavement the top layers being the bituminous layers in that the bottom layer is dense bituminous macadam which is of a higher different aggregate structure and different bitumen quantity top layer is superior which is bituminous concrete usually in uh, in case of uh, american standard they call that as asphaltic concrete Uh, so the aspartic concrete and dense bituminous uh, macadam these two are the bituminous layers below that there is a granular layer which is again based on uh, the base courses which are basically either wmm wet mix macadam or wbm depending upon the uh, specifications construction time what they have done which agency has done so when we are milling this in our conventional recycling aspartic pavement when the millers are used the milling machine basically has got cutters and those cutters damage these particular uh, layers also the receiving layers again we need to strengthen the receiving layers and go for the recycled aspartic over that that is where our new technology comes into picture how we are going to do so the objective here is completely a circle where the renewable resources are finite in supply non renewable resources are uh, uh, finite in supply so we cannot simply go on uh, crushing the aggregates mountains and drinking the oil and reusing it so we need to come with a solution so what what solution or what conservation that we can do we can conserve at least 80% of the virgin aggregates that are used 
many of the cases in rural roads where low volume roads which has got one lakh uh, sorry one uh, msa uh, reputation of standard axle there they have used 100% we are talking about this new technology where we can use 80% of the virgin aggregate save sorry we save the virgin aggregate and use 20% of virgin aggregate with the old 80% it reduces 2% of the bitumen this again comes with case to case aging characteristics of the material on an average you can save about 0.5 to 1.5 to 2% depending upon the age of the bitumen that is being used and the asphaltic pavement has been subjected to service now it also takes into account of this particular plastic mix which was getting into the uh, garbage get a meaningful uh, usage in the road construction it reduces 60% of the energy by the following points transportation of scarified material then mining and uh, transportation of virgin aggregates mining also requires oil to run the generators for the crushers and various other things so manufacturing and transportation of the bitumen we manufacturing it in a hot mix plant and transporting it placing it and it reduces the machinery used for road asphalting here one thing i would like to put it forward to the all the participants we are not touching the construction equipments or the construction procedure or the mix design procedure in the laboratory keeping that constant we are we arranging or we fabricating our system in such a way that nothing comes as a burden to the contractor or the agency who uses this this is a very big challenge that we have tried to address through this particular technology i would like to repeat again we are not going to change the existing machinery or the existing equipments construction equipments or the plant that is there which has been operating hot mix plant from the drum mixes to the centralized bank plant we are not going to do anything everything remains the same only the technology how we process is our back end and we give the solution to you so there comes the advantage of our technology it reduces the greenhouse gas emissions significantly we have already checked that particular levels by our studies it gives about 27 tons per kilometers when compared to the conventional paving methods one of my research scholar the professor gnanamurthy uh, is working on this particular issue he is submitting his thesis and papers related to this issue so we have done the particular uh, study in a very scientific manner took out the cost took out the life cycle analysis and then we are talking about this two folds of life is added to this particular pavements how by adding plastic we are increasing its load carrying capacity basically this plastic tries to cut off the water which is trying to debond the bitumen and as well as the aggregate so this plastic increases the adhesion property of the bitumen and gives you the complete freedom of this particular plastic road even if our drainage fails or chokes or even in the flooding conditions and second thing is we are bringing a plastic free garbage center where which completely composites the green waste and reduces the burden on landfills and other sites now it's time for us to draw the line which is good and which is bad whether we need to take up this solution further or should we drop it so when it came we thought of uh, evaluating the process and understand what exactly we do this the process if you look here the milling or the reuse of the material is basically a kind of a situation in which a machine completely uh, starts degrading the aggregate properties this aggregate properties when it gets degraded the entire shape factor of the aggregate is lost when the diamond cutters milling cutters when they move on to the pavement surface and try to churn the material and bring them and a hot plate heats that particular material uh, portion and removes the bitumen the aging of the bitumen takes place and the diamond cutter completely cuts it and uh, it it cannot sense whether there is a bigger size aggregate or a smaller size aggregate the bigger size aggregates gets defragmented one portion of the aggregate increases another portion of aggregate reduces so the entire aggregate structure which is carefully chosen for the better bonding or giving density or the job mix formula done is completely lost when we do the milling or recycling as per the existing method of milling the material 
what is that we are doing we are doing a shallow depth cutting and grinding what does this mean it is a completely new concept or new thinking wherein we drill small holes in the payment layer which needs to be recycled and those payment holes again are controlled by the uh, plc programming where it gives you the tolerance of depth by this way we are not going to damage the consolidated bottom layers or the receiving layers which requires very less preparation for the new material to come onto it this is our technology where it completely loses the top layer by drilling small holes precise small holes in a quick session and then that particular holes makes the slab or this particular material loose which will be ripped open and once that material is ripped open in site or we can take it back this material to the factory if we want to recycle or into our recycle site or you can do it in site by the small machines that we have put in we have put this into the display in irc session in bangalore in palace ground we had got a lot of appreciation from the uh, payment industry side which is a very crude method or a small machines that we developed uh, this is basically works on to this process or if you look into the process of this uh, uh, process of recycling with shallow cutting this spread machine works with the concept of heating the mantle and a special blades that are being manufactured not to damage the aggregate but to debond this particular bitumen which is sticking to that and uh, preserve the size of the aggregate without changing its shape factor now we will just look step by step procedure what was there in the earlier practice in form of short videos first video where well, i'll be showing how the milling is done this project i did the earlier recycling project i did it in 2006 7 8 uh, to uh, not in our country uh, to your surprise this i had uh, to do it in pakistan because they had an issue of this particular rutting in one particular lane where the southbound traffic was very high because of the ordinance factory of pakistan and uh, where the, the army depots uh, ordinance was coming and the sand mining was taking place so the trucks the army trucks and various other uh, overloaded trucks were coming on southbound traffic rather than northbound traffic so there the rutting was an issue and they wanted to uh, overlay by over, overlaying these particular layers Uh, the thickness of the pavement was coming on a higher side geometrics was a problem then super elevation was a problem gradient was a problem for them so we did a recycling solution by using the modified uh, bitumen parameters of using plastics as well as crumb rubber and try to uh, pass the particular surface after milling so this video what you are seeing is the first video which shows you the conventional or the regular milling practice how it is done uh please bear me because of the loud noise and poor quality of video at that point of time we did not have much facility to record this it was done and uh, but it is completely visible how it can it works or how it uh, completely it shows the video shows i'll play the video for you you can see here uh, you can see here in this video the material is completely milled and uh, it is been put onto the dumper uh, the lane is uh, been uh, uh, milled where the problem is occurring one lane we have closed and diverted the traffic and uh, recycling it it is uh, the pakistan's major uh, lane this goes and joins to the uh, kashmir uh, also the major road it is uh, it also goes to northwest frontier frontier uh, from islamabad it is uh, it, it it also has got a expressway connectivity to lahore so there are so many issues related to it traffic was too high and uh, high speed traffic was there even uh, there they operated the speed of about 140 kilometers per hour on the national highways they designed according to the standards of astm american standards
So this is how the conventional billing is done. The entire payment material is removed uh, and it has been transported through this particular conveyor. Uh, the hot plate comes there and the mill, uh, the hot plate comes under this. It heats the surface, the hot plate comes here and the grinding takes place, the mill milling grinding takes place and then it transports through this particular boom or the conveyor belt and it is deposited onto the payment. This is how the conventional milling is done. You can see there, I'm standing here. You can see me, I can stand, I'm standing here. Uh, the, you can also witness the depth of the cutting that has taken place. You, the depth of the cutting that has taken place, I'll show it to you in this video. You can see here, the payment uh, depth, what it has been cut and the machine is being now moved to shift to the next link. So this is the general process where the aggregates are completely damaged, their shape factor is completely lost when it comes to the contact of the milling machine. Now, if you see, uh, just a second. Now, if you see, the challenge for us was this particular four steps that is involved in bituminous mix to keep the material same, design procedure the same, design binder content that needs to be adopted in the laboratory, not changing much, and whatever the uh, design of mix that we are doing to pass through the moisture sensitivity test, which gives more boost to this particular product. So at the back end in the laboratory, my procedure should not change. I should match to the codes. All the values of the codes should be uh, matching. Then I, sh I should not change the construction equipment or there should not be any change in the construction practice of the new approach that I'm testing. And you saw the previous one. What was the drawback of the previous one in the milling? We were getting this particular uh, material lost. So what is the procedure that we need to adopt? This is what we did. You can see this small video here. I'll show you this video. It is a self-explanatory video again. You can see uh, it is acting like some kind of a floor mill. All those material which is there, which is feeding manually. Uh, this was a small miniature version that we did for uh, showing the IRC. These are the broken slabs. You can see here the broken slab pieces. They have been fed. This is almost aged bitumen what we have. And you can see the kind of material which we are getting. This is a uh, material which we have recycled for an MDR. That is, uh, in our case in India, they say MDR is the, uh, you can say the tertiary kind of a road, a village road or other district road, major district road. Few major district road which has got higher traffic will have better treatment. This is the uh, a small place which is connecting two places and it has been upgraded to an MDR. Its total width itself is 5.5 meters. So there was no proper maintenance, very poor conditions, depleted condition. And that material was given to us as a challenge to take it up. We took that and uh, we have crushed that material and uh, brought this. Here, if you see the bitumen which is coming out, will be collected in a box in form of powder, bitumen which gets converted into a powder form, black powder form, which we have also got a commercial value for that in printing and textile industry as well as printing industry and uh, preparation of cartridge and various other industries. They are uh, asking for this carbon black. See, the entire recycling process, there are multiple outcomes that are coming. We are recycling this uh, uh, asphalt payment. We are getting the aggregates out. We are taking out that uh, bitumen, which is completely burning out in this process or which gets completely black or turns into a powder form that is having an industrial value. It is purchased at a rate of 16 rupees, which is a waste again, which was going as a landfill or it was getting buried under some road development activity or it was going to some farmer's land and lay there. 
once the contractor rips out it and place a new one he doesn't bother where that particular material goes he dumps into some site and he goes off after his work is done so that bitumen powder is also getting a 16 rupees value in today's market now the second uh, parameter which we have to do is the mix design now the mix design its performance evaluation had to be determined in the laboratory by using the same procedure of ASTMs and IRCs and MRTH by doing it with Marshall, gyratory compactor, roller compactor, we have done the mixed design. It is a similar quantity as a so procedure and quantity of bitumen, optimum binder bitumen content that needs to be analyzed. We have analyzed. This video shows you how the slabs are, uh, slabs are constructed using this uh, roller compactor. It is a recycled material that we have used. There are uh, different compaction uh, levels we can do. We have done it for the surface course and uh, we have found out the optimum binder content. After casting the slab for various binder content, we have come to the optimum binder content by drawing the cores from this slab which is cast. Once this slab is cast, we have taken it out and we have, uh, we have uh, uh, taken the cores out of it to check the density of it and uh, as well as the binder content with various binder contents we have cast this lab and cores have been taken based on their density value air content value vma value vfb value void filled with bitumen what's in mineral aggregate value we have fixed the binder content also for the new mix which is comprising of 80 percent of old recycled material 20 percent of new material and a bitumen content of about three to three point five percent You can see here, we have removed the course. The course can be taken out. Uh, we have used plastic, we have used CRMB and all. This video where we have taken many slabs at the laboratory level to understand, which, uh, to just to show you the slab which has been prepared. And then we have taken out that particular material to justify the codal values that even the mixed design done by using recycled asphalt and with lesser binder content and 8% of plastic additive, we get the same properties what we were getting with the earlier hot mix asphalt to show that at the laboratory level before going into the trial pit or before going for the trial stretch. We have done that work. So the cores are drawn. Then we have also done a, a rutting test at our laboratory level with our instrument. This is all different materials we have used at different places and different videos. It may be some videos may be repetitive. I have shown in various forums, but the procedure to show you the procedure of step one, selection of material, step two, job mix formula, then step three by compaction, determining the optimum binder content and step four, the moisture content and step five, the performance evaluation of our new approach, where the new approach is shallow milling, shallow min, uh, milling of that material or shallow cutting of that material, then processing it with using our uh, uh, equipment of uh, recycled asphaltic payment by removing or extracting the aggregate separate and as well as the bitumen separate and recalibrating the quantity of bitumen that is required there the optimum binder content process has to be taken into account with this four step without changing the procedure of uh, optimum binder content then conduct the uh, rutting test i'm sorry the video i'm sorry the video is tilted These tests we did to ascertain ourselves whether this technology will work or not. After this, we were given a test track uh, by Karnataka State Highway Improvement Program under Karnataka State Highway Improvement Program World Bank package uh, under WEP1 World Bank Economic uh, that Environmental Package One. They gave us a challenge that can you bring this technology here, and they offered us five lakh rupees to do this particular test track 
that is construction everything is our headache we said it is not possible in this particular condition where without strengthening the shoulders and other things but they did not heed to our words they said give it or take you have to take this challenge you will be given only 5 lakh and do it what is the rate of uh, uh, the premix carpet that they were giving at that point of time with the, in their uh, schedule of rate was it was 152 rupees 152 rupees per square meter so 100 because it is chip carpet the thickness does not come into consideration we took up the challenge this is the road what you are seeing and you are seeing the material here this material which is being grinded the portion of that road which was removed for around 600 meters we have removed that road uh, by shallow cutting and depth i brought them in bags and placed them in our uh, site and we did this because this was a a small test track that we want this this is the condition or the shape of that particular material heated and then we brought this and we have removed that in our site in the processing site and then we have collected this aggregate and transported this aggregate to the hot mix plant for the further uh, evaluation so this is the site i have given you the details of the site where it was and where exactly it is coming what was the length it's about 500 plus 600 meters that they did we finished the job we didn't stand on the shoulder uh, we did whatever it was available with us within 3 uh, three 3 and 1/2 lakh rupees and 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees was the saving and we did not uh, uh, misuse that 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees we took the permission and did a evaluation of three continuous cycles how this road is performing in con in in comparison with the normal construction road whether there are any Uh, lacune in the procedure what it has been followed so this was a test track see the process involved we took up this the material was brought then it was supplied to the hot mix plant the first photo shows you the road existing condition then it is broken and then it is completely processed you can see the white color some process and dull color of this particular material the bitumen which is extracted in this in the powder form is taken back the older bitumen which is sticking to the aggregate has got that uh, property only the surface gets exposed to the sunlight and the environment and it gets uh, the aging to rejuvenate this we have added 8% of plastic to this particular dry mix and then pumped in about 3 to 3.5% of the bitumen in this particular uh, 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 this thing site where the hot mix plant was there this is our aggregate you can see the lumps present on the sites are all virgin aggregate and stone chips and other things by the contractor see the process involved in the new approach construction we did not change anything no fixtures nothing we have done all the back end calculation back end work and for our case it came up to somewhere about 100 139 uh, rupees per square meter 25 mm thick Uh, pmc or 20 mil sorry 20 mm thick pmc we got it as 139 rupees per square meter and we did not change anything we blew this or cleaned this surface placed the tack coat placed the tack coat uh, using the same equipments that are available with the contractor then using the same paper loading it uh, the road was constructed then it was compacted using the same uh, rollers and immediately the road was opened after curing it was opened for this movement of the vehicle you can see the difference here because we have not patched the uh, shoulders here or we have not taken care of the edge drop and other thing you can see the vehicle started playing now the uh, if you see here uh, the section of the road is uh, uh, joining uh, nh4 which is basically joining to a quarry and as well as a place very near to this there is a quarry and other activities going on all this time because the road condition was like this the vehicles were traveling almost uh, 32 to 38 kilometers uh, detouring to reach nh4 now once we use this particular technology and built up the road the traffic of the road increased i means the movement on this particular traffic it became so severe we never expected that that this will uh, by patching this and the remaining portion k shipped it with the normal technology they did not do with the 
plastic uh, modified recycled as per they did with the normal technology uh, to be to be more precise ours sustained all the three cycle after three cycle they have renewed that other uh, section which was done in the normal uh, uh, paving but our uh, section is intact this is recorded also and our aws who have been continuously monitoring from the case ship who had come when we did the performance evaluation every 6 months pre monsoon post monsoon which we have done through our government skgit and we have submitted the report to case ship uh, they were very much happy with this particular technology and they gave it gave a boost to the karnataka state highway improvement program as a environmental model program where they got more additional grants from adb also adb appro appro uh, appreciated this particular technology and they approved they got about 860 crores additional worth of grant because of the environmental uh, issue that they have done now if you see here uh, we have done the project monitoring also i have shown a hyperlink here from the report itself directly we have done the project monitoring is the screen available to the viewers can anyone uh, say because it's a hyperlink i have changed it is the screen available uh, hello hello ah, is sir the screen is available to... that photos of project is not uh, coming up what is not coming up photos of project road one dot ah, file hyperlink i have to i need to share that again, again. okay okay Okay, okay okay you you can go ahead sir okay so if uh, if one second if this is not uh, available as a hyperlink then i will again display it at the end of this particular thing where we have done the uh, where we have done this uh, i'll just uh, i think uh, now is it available no 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 Okay, I'll show it at the photos end. Are, yeah, photos Pardon? are not available. Sir. Photos ah, are not available. That is a that's a yeah. hyper goes from PowerPoint to Word. That is why yeah, the yeah. screen is not compatible. I think. Anyway, I will show you those photos uh, once the presentation. It's almost at the end of the presentation. So we have uh, done this uh, particular evaluation. After this evaluation, uh, we found that the payment is intact without any overlay. but the other portions of the payment where this plastic was not used the recycled material was not used has already undergone a overlay uh, they have also been that was done in the normal course they did not add plastic the normal bituminous with virgin aggregates was done but it has come out but this it's still intact with few failures at the edge because the traffic enormously increased uh, it became a small route and people started using this particular uh, road Uh, as a convenience to join nh4 all this uh, loaded trucks with uh, aggregates and other things started moving from this particular crusher site to nh4 i'll show you the uh, slide after this slide i'll show you i'll share that particular uh, uh, photographs then you can just uh, my statement can be justified so now what we are at the end of this presentation i would like to sum up like this that is uh, the advantages of shallow milling wrap is much higher compared to the normal milling and usage of plastic in this recycled asphalt is an added additional advantage in two way creating uh, it it helps to eradicate the plastic problem it also enhances the performance of the pavement it gives a higher moisture strength to this particular pavement less consumption of bitumen so shallow milling of asphalt pavement remains better shape factor of the aggregate it will not damage because the Uh, milling uh, diamond cutters when in the normal milling break this and that is why uh, that is the reason in developed countries they use 40 to 50 percent of this material to achieve the density the missing fractions in the uh, total uh, recycled material they add additional virgin aggregate of 50 percent in our case we have added only 20 percent of the virgin aggregate so use of waste plastic reduces the binder quantity here so that is an, a clear advantage to us. the most important thing we have not changed the construction equipments or the process we have not burdened the contractor or the design process we have kept the same and we have tried to solve the problem at our end using a back end and giving them the solution 
Now, waste plastic recycling reduces the burden on the environment. Wrap helps to conserve the natural resources. With this remark, I, 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 I present a small video, which is the most happening thing in today's world. You please watch this video. So here it says, it's always been the survival of the fittest. So in our case, we need to be the, uh, we need to adopt these changes and uh, survive our, ourselves in this uh, situation. It applies to the COVID as well as the adoption of our recycled aspartic payment with plastic. So that video, I thought it would be more uh, appropriate. The person who was eating all the junk food and who became fat could not run and he could not uh, raise to, and get away from this dinosaurs. This is for the children to say that you drink milk so that uh, leave this uh, all kind of uh, junk food so that you can uh, you will not be taken uh, eaten by the dinosaur. To convey that message, they are done. But it is very much apt for us in this condition. Uh, thank you for your patient listening, all the web uh, participants through this webinar. And I also thank these people, uh, Diane Sagar College of Engineering, which happens to be my college where I studied my graduation. And my teachers, my guru is VP uh, Sir for giving this opportunity to present whatever the small work that I have done over this period of time. And now, if there are uh, talk is over, if there are any questions, I would like to take the questions uh, and uh, we can uh, discuss. I will show the. Uh, before ending this, I, I have to show that particular photos. Kindly excuse me, I'll show you the photos. I think now all the participants can see the uh, photos uh, or the report, project road report. Yes, it is visible. Yes. This is the person who was in charge there when we did the evaluation. This is the finished road, how it looks after two cycles. These are my MTech students uh, who helped me in collecting the data or this particular project. So you can see the kind of traffic movement which picked up. Earlier, there was no traffic. You can see the trucks piling one by one. We did the axle load survey also to understand this particular uh, uh, sudden surge of the traffic. And we also took the traffic uh, Benkelman beam deflection studies to understand the deflection in our uh, zone and uh, the other zone. You can see the traffic, even the other movements of the traffic, because it became a shortcut to everyone, they started using this road. So this we did not expect in our design. Otherwise, we would have given 40 millimeter of PC. But uh, this 20 millimeter itself sustained almost three cycles without overlay. Whereas the normal road or the normal technology required uh, uh, overlaying. See, you can see a waste plastic uh, recycled material. We have done and uh, we have taken the roughness values also end of the project road, the chain edges. So this is what I just wanted to share with the people. That's it. Thank you. We'll take up the questions now. Hello. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir, for your nice presentation. So some questions are asked by the audience. I'll read one by one. Okay. So first question is, can you mention the thermal characteristics of plastic mixed bitumen? 
thermal characteristics of plastic uh, mixed bitumen see the, there is no change in the thermal characteristics of your normal bitumen or plastic bitumen 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 does not contain this plastic it is only the plastic added as an additive into your aggregate bin and that too not all plastic as i said in my presentation we have a set of plastic which we have patented we still valid till 2021 we have another name which goes into this particular plastic uh, or this particular mix and uh, that mix whatever we are modifying it is in the same temperature what we use for our normal bituminous mixes which comes out from the, the plant in the range of 160 to 165 degrees okay. no, thank you sir sir next question is is it is economic if you add you can construct okay sir i think i did not listen you i could not hear your question there was some problem a break in the video or uh, there is some communication problem or internet problem yes, can... is it is it economical if you use plastic in bituminous mixers is it economical 100% it is economical because we are reducing the quantity of bitumen our plastic blend that we are going to use is 27 rupees per kilo all the process buying it that waste plastic buying it at a rate of 6 to 8 per 8 rupees per kilo processing it segregating it mixing it and uh, uh, mixing that blend and keeping it and transporting it to the site we are charging 27 rupees per kilo if you look today's rate the fluctuation rate of the bitumen it every day it changes on an average if even you take the worst combust lowest price of the bitumen virgin bitumen of vg30 or vg40 it is going to cost you not less than landed price not less than 38 to 40 rupees by excluding the tax and other things all those things even our landed price is 27 rupees plastic here it is 38 to 40 rupees so now if you compare the cost itself when we are replacing the bitumen with the plastic there itself per cubic meter of your bituminous mixes comes down it it really comes down uh, by uh, say in per lane if I, my calculations it keeps on changing on an approximate basis if i say 3.75 meter width road and 1 kilometer that is 1000 meter road you will have a saving not less than 2 and 1/2 to 3 lakh rupees for a thickness of 25 mm or if you take 40 it cost up to 3 and 1/2 lakh rupees of saving okay thank you Appro sir approximately yes thank you sir so our next question is is it environmental friendly because during mixing process it will be at high temperature so once you are uh, mixing that whether it is environmental friendly this is Sir, uh, for this i would like to uh, the person who has asked uh, i would like to refer irc sp 98 2013 without the environmental certification none of the coder provisions will come out so this is been code is a coder provision it is not a trial provision that we are talking about or it is not in uh, uh, premature stage it is a certified patented provision which comes out definitely all plastic we are not putting in that is why we come there as an expertise we are putting the plastic as i showed you the few nomenclatures of the family of the plastic few plastic will go into the production of this hot mix sample the others have got the cold applications for them where the temperature issues and other noxious gas which is coming out they have a different application which i have shown in the product range that we are manufacturing so here the plastic which can sustain the window of manufacturing which goes up to 180 200 degree centigrade where it does not release any kind of acids or hydrochloric uh, noxious gases or any kind of carbon uh, gases sulfur gases or nitrous gases we are using those plastic to use it and it is been advocated by the government now next question is what about rutting and fatigue characteristics 
the rutting and fatigue characteristics is much higher compared to your even today's viscosity grade which is being used in india people have gone for performance grades outside with super specification with higher uh, quantity of bitumen but india as per is bis 73 is concerned it is vg viscosity grade bitumen which even vg 40 gives you about around 2800 to 3000 depending upon the specific gravity of the aggregate and bitumen quantity and uh, it gives you 2800 to 3000 newton per millimeter square of the uh, the value e value plastic gives you not less than 3000 newton per millimeter when plastic is added to the bituminous mix same bituminous mix comparing an apple with apple so it gives you 3000 newton per millimeter square it, uh, it, it, it without doubt without doubt any testing that you want to do you can do it using simple performance tester or rutting tester or fatigue tester properly mix design with virgin vg40 and plastic with vg30 gives you more than the value of 3000 newton per millimeter square definitely these two parameters once you have higher stiffness fatigue is not a problem for us it can take the load repetitions much better than the virgin and rutting characteristics will not come because this plastic does not melt or the viscosity of the mix does not come yes, out sir. yes yes sir hello uh, vivek ah uh, tell me sir uh, is it okay finished uh, okay. am i audible yes sir yes sir sir one more question is there yes sir. i'm sorry uh, am i audible yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Uh, uh, is it over I, uh, no sir one more question is there okay please okay Uh, the question is asked this plastic mixed bitumen can be used for soil stabilization plastics we use for bitumen see what we are talking or we are advocating is a dry process where plastic enters with the aggregate plastic blend with bitumen is entirely a different process it is a wet process it is still not been uh, uh, available in the market in such large quantity or people are manufacturing it at it is still at the experimental stage no one can blend this waste plastic directly into the bitumen and say that it is been blend few people are trying it it has not had come out so once it comes out then the pro- uh, blending of that into soil and its effects have to be studied then only i can answer this is a very premature step to answer about it what i am advocating is a dry process it is not blended with bitumen it is a overall component as an additive into the bituminous mix okay thank you sir Sir, over to you, Prakash sir. Uh, uh, dear Kiran, it's very nice of you to have joined us. Thank you for a very informative talk. Uh, it has been helpful for many of the research scholars, especially our um, our research scholars who are doing research under Vivek Das. Thank you very much, sir Kiran sir, uh, and I also thank uh, the principal of Government SKSJT for uh, being the associated member of this workshop. Thank you very much, sir. Nice. Thank you. Thank sir, you. Sir, 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 what about the other uh, queries which has written in the chat box? Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, sir, those those will be addressed, and we will send those things to the respective people. We'll reply to that through email. Okay. 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 Sir, uh, uh. the uh, sir one. Uh, sir uh, would you share the ppt presentation yes sir yes sir thank yes, you sir, sir. Yes, thank sir. you sir yes sir with the organizers please kindly share it with the participants yes pardon sir, pardon, sir. Uh, i i'll share with the organizers so yes, they yes. Will in turn we share with the participants so i thank uh, all uh, the organizers for giving uh, this uh, wonderful opportunity to present myself and i thank my professor Uh, prakash sir uh, we are very much indebted to you because what we are today is because of you sir uh, thank you very much sir thank you have a nice thank day thank you sir thank okay. you thank you sir pramod uh, just uh, close the session